everybody, my name is Simone, and welcome to Simone's Bedtime Stories. Me and my pals are getting ready to sleep, and we're going to hear a bedtime story. Hi, Daddy, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready to sleep? Yes. Oh, I'm sleepy as well. Uh, I want to sleep. Hmm? Okay. Alright, so what story you can tell them? Okay, let's tell another Tenaliram story. Yes. Okay. So this time, there was a contest, mm -hmm. contest in the court of the king, right? What type of contest? So in the contest, they brought uh, two pots, two pots that are hung on a pole, right? There are two pots that are hung. So there's like this pole tied to some on this on the ceiling and then it not not technically a pole they just tied two pots to the ceiling okay not to the pole yeah they just tied two pots to the ceiling and they said so they like put the pot on the ceiling mm -hmm. so they took or do they take like a rope and then they hang the pot the exactly the exactly they, they hang the pot where they could reach the pot they hanged the pot uh with a rope from the top of the ceiling so like that okay. they put two two pots uh, okay. from the ceiling okay they hung uh, two pots from the top of the ceiling right so so the contest was you know the king said hey you know one pot has gold in it so who can figure out which pot has gold in it so everyone is trying you know everyone is trying to figure out you know they don't have any um, you know idea they're not able to guess you know it all looks very same pretty same uh, very similar and, so they uh, can't know, look at the top of the pot. Yeah, it's hanging from there. It's hanging from there. They cannot look at it from the top of the pot. Yeah. So everybody's trying to figure out and nobody is like, oh, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. Then Tenaliram comes and it looks at it. Looks at it. Uh, he observes this one. Hmm, that one. Hmm, this one. Hmm, that one. What is the difference between this pot and that pot? Hmm. He observes for a while. And then he goes and borrows a big spear and then, you know, hits the pot one pot and then gee, the pot breaks and all the gold coins fell down how did he know which one so that's what the king asked hey Tanaliram, how did he figure out which pot how would how did he figure out the right pot that had gold in it so Tanaliram said king you have to keenly observe you know what is um, how how the whole setup is uh, done right so you have to observe how this first pot is hanging and you observe the, how the second pot is hanging. Not just the pot, also observe the whole arrangement. So if you observe the whole arrangement, you can see one pot has a pretty tight, you know, string that has a lot of tension. It's very tense. And the other pot, you don't see so much tension. It's not that tense. That means what? So the pot that is heavy, you know, makes the string really, really tense and tight. Whereas the pot that's not that heavy doesn't, you know, make the string or the rope very tense or tight. So I saw, I found that this pot, and what is the gold, property of gold? Gold so is heavy. very, very, very dense, right? Dense, makes dense it means heavy? Even though it's small, it might look small, but, but it's but very heavy. But it has heavy. so much dense that means it's density that still yeah. makes it heavy. Exactly. So even though it might look small, but it's very heavy compared to other metals because like silver. Because it has or, lots of density? Exactly, it has lots of density. So that's what I observed and I saw this pot that had a lot of, you know, the rope was very tense and it was heavy. So I broke this pot and, you know, I found, figured out that this pot is the one that had a lot of gold in it. So Tenaligam gave that explanation and everybody were happy and the king appreciated about wow, that's great. So while they're doing this, while they're wrapping up this first discussion, then, you know, suddenly a messenger comes and tells, hey, you know, there is a general also that's part of the court, right? So the general is obviously reporting to the king and the general, you know, the messenger comes and tells a message to the whole court saying that, hey, our general's wife has given birth to a beautiful son. Um, you know, we have to, uh, you know, I just want to come and convey that message to the general. And the general was very thrilled. Wow, that's great. I got a beautiful son. That's great. And then... You know, the general invites everyone, hey, you know, you guys should all come. You know, I want to celebrate, um, you know, have a party at my home this evening. You know, I want to celebrate the birth of my son. So please come, right? He tells everyone and, you know, evening comes and everybody's going. And there is this another 
uh, you know, person in the king's court that is always jealous of Tenaliram, right? And what this guy says, mm, he always wants to, you know, beat Tenaliram. You know, Tenaliram is a smart guy. Or, like, pick which one's right, but he wants Tenaliram to be wrong and him to be right. Exactly, yeah. He wants to do better than Tenaliram in front of the king. He wants to solve, you know, he wants the king to come to him to solve problems and he wants to be appreciated as the smart guy than Tenalira. Right? Uh, okay. So that's what he's trying to do. So he is, you know, scheming. He's scheming and saying, you know, this is an opportunity for me to, you know, show that I am smarter than Tenalira. And, you know, in the um, evening, they all go to the... Um, the baby is just born, right? Mm -hmm. So they're all going to the party and, uh, you know, this general is uh, organized this party and the king is going, uh, Tenalgam is going and this other person is also going and they all go and this, you know, as soon as they, I mean, obviously when you're going to a party where, you know, you are visiting a newly born baby, they go and, you know, look at the baby first, wow, the baby looks beautiful, they say good things about the baby. So like this, this other person started, starts talking about the baby. Wow, your son is so beautiful. He's so handsome. You know, he's going to do that. He's going to do this. He's going to be a, even a better general than you. He's going to learn this skill. He's going to learn that skill. And, you know, he's going to be a great warrior. He's going to go, he's going to lead an army. He's going to go and fight the enemies. And he's going to be an even greater general than you. And, you know, he's going to be great. You are very one lucky person. You know, that's what this other guy is saying. Right. And, and he also makes fun of Tenaliram. Hey, Tenaliram, what do you think? Are you a keen observer here? Like, how you observed so nicely in the morning? Are you going to make any observations now? And, you know, share your findings with us? In a, you know, sarcastic way, he's making a comment, right? What? Okay. <laughs> so, you know, then Tenaliram says, uh, you know, hey, uh, his name is, let's say, you know, Pandit. Hey, Pandit, you know, um, I appreciate. The guy's name is Pandit. Yeah, the guy's name is Pandit. Hey, Pandit, you know I appreciate all the things you did, but you failed to pay attention to the baby. You know the baby is not a boy; it's a girl. You know, so all your keen observation is wrong. Uh, so you better pay attention to that, and then you know make your comments. Right? That's what this guy Tanaliram says. And the Pandit was like, so, and then they see, you know, he, the Pandit is just talking something just because he has to say something. And, uh, you know, then Thanaliram says, actually, the messenger who came to deliver the news this morning, he made a mistake. He said, instead of a girl, he said, it's, it's a boy, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's what he said. And when they come to, you know, look at the baby, and it turns out the baby is a girl baby. So this Pandit, who wanted to impress the king and, you know, show himself as smarter than Tenaliram actually what screwed up, right? Mm -hmm. So that is the second story. Is there another story? No, that's it. Oh. Mm. So it's, it's, what is the moral of the story? Don't act too smart. Oh, okay. You just pay attention to what is around you and, you know, do what is needed. Don't act too smart. That is the moral of the story. Bye, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my story. And don't forget, you can always listen to more.